A big question in Hollywood, when will high-profile talk shows come back? Getting some answers this morning amid the ongoing writer and actor strikes. The first late-night show now returning. Bill Maher announcing overnight that, quote, real time is coming back. Unfortunately, sans writers are writing. Maher adding, the writers have important issues that I sympathize with and hope they are addressed to their satisfaction. But they are not the only people with issues, problems, and concerns. We're still writing things on cards. And many daytime talk shows are back in production. From The View, which never stopped production, to Drew Barrymore, Jennifer Hudson, and reportedly The Talk. All employ unionized writers, but during the strike, The View and Barrymore Show have pledged not to use WGA members, leading to backlash from the Writers Guild. The actors' union sag aftra says Barrymore is free to host her show. The actress herself posting, I own this choice, and that she's in compliance with strike rules. With no sign of resolution to the strikes, you, the viewer, will also pay a price this fall, with many of your favorite TV shows and movies missing in action. Dozens of productions have been shuttered, like highly anticipated movie sequels to Mission Impossible, Deadpool, and Gladiator. Their release is pushed to next year at the earliest. On the TV side, new seasons of popular shows like Stranger Things, Emily in Paris, Abbott Elementary, and Yellowstone now delayed for months. You see what you've been missing? Production on the Game of Thrones prequel has been shut down. It was back in May that WGA writers walked off the job, followed by SAG-AFTRA actors in July. After talks collapsed with the AMPTP, the group representing major studios, including NBC Universal's parent company, Comcast. The battle here over wage increases, residuals in the streaming era, and the use of artificial intelligence. SAG-AFTRA President Fran Drescher pledging to stay the course. Do not give up because this is the moment that is going to change the future. With so many unscripted shows postponed, insiders say expect lots of reruns and reality TV to take their place. Is it snake oil? That's what happened in the last writer's strike 16 years ago, when hit reality franchises like NBC's Two Hour Biggest Loser and CBS's Amazing Race were born, dominating the ratings and revolutionizing what we watch forever. Bill Maher added in that statement that despite his assistance, the rest of his staff is, quote, struggling mightily, and he didn't want them to lose out on any more work. And as for other talk shows using WGA members during the strike, CBS declined to comment about the talk, and CW did not respond to our request for comment. Chloe, you've been on the phone with sources kind of on both sides of this thing. Does it look like there might be a resolution at some point? In order for there to be a resolution, people have to be talking. There are no negotiations happening right now. Mm -hmm. We know that SAG, that represents over 100,000 actors in that union, they've never even had a negotiation with the AMPTP that represents the studios. Oh. How is that even possible? Mm -hmm. How can you come to the table and move forward if you're not actively talking? We know that the Writers Guild turned down the studio's offer in August. We know that some members of the studios, including Ted Sarandos, met with members of the Writers Guild, but there were no lawyers present mm -hmm. when that took place at a hotel on August 22nd. We have all of this in a really great report on NBCNews.com, but it is very unfortunate. People can't pay their bills. Mm -hmm. People are losing their homes. People are dipping into their savings yeah. and don't have any money left. Mm. And so how long is this going to go on? It goes far worse than us having to rewatch some of our favorite shows. Mm -hmm. This is deeply affecting people's mm -hmm. lives. And, you know, I think the ramif ramifications are going to be far far-reaching. Yeah, got to come to a conclusion at some point. Got to at so. least talk well, and try. Talk now. It's pretty yeah. disturbing. All right, thank you, Chloe. Thanks, Chloe. <laughs> let's get another check of the weather. Mr. Roker is down in Washington this morning. Yeah. Hey, Al. And, and let's not even not talk about the all the craftspeople and all the other ripple exactly. effects mm -hmm. that it really impacts. It's really, really horrible stuff. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.